Buried in the CIA's archives are documents about the search for Noah's Ark. The Ark is a storied vessel that appears in Christian, Jewish, and Muslim beliefs, in which Noah, his family, and a collection of animals survive a global flood. Given its significance, proof would be one of the biggest archaeological finds in history. But why was the CIA looking for it? And did they find anything? We're a new channel covering under-the-radar declassified files like this. Subscribe to join us. The agency's entire file on the Ark is 46 pages long. It has various requests to officials for information on whether or not it exists. It is clear the CIA assisted congressmen, intelligence officers, and journalists looking for evidence. They focused on a snow-capped dormant volcano in eastern Turkey named Mount Ararat. Some details may still be classified, but interest in this area seemed to stem from a 1949 Air Force recon mission that filmed an anomaly on the northwest corner of the mountain. Here is a declassified image of the anomaly. CIA documents show various requests for agency help in this matter, such as in 1974, when Congressman Bob Wilson asked if it could release any aerial photos of the mountain. His request was denied, with the agency stating U-2 spy plane images were still classified. Senator Barry Goldwater also wrote the director of the CIA asking if a, quote, archaeological find was on the mountain. The director responded, they had reviewed the photos and did not see any evidence. But that's not the entire story. A curious interaction from the spring of 1975 tells us some officials may have believed something was on the mountain worth checking out. As this document shows, one intelligence community member visited the CIA's National Photographic Interpretation Center. The captain showed NPIC staff a ground photo, quote, showing a long range view of the purported arc. Here's the kicker. The office reviewed the photo to see if it had been altered in any way and tests failed to identify any manipulation. Whatever the captain brought in was interesting enough to motivate the agency to search all available U-2 and satellite imagery for evidence that could corroborate it, though at the time, the office says nothing else was found. Interestingly, there was enough curiosity to send several NPIC analysts to visit a French archaeologist who claimed to have a piece of the Ark. This sounds like an Indiana Jones screenplay, but is a real account. Emphasizing the seriousness with which the CIA took this photo brought to them in 75, the document refers to this as, quote, the ARC problem. Unfortunately, details of the interaction stop there. However, something of note happened six years later. The Air Force Chief of Staff, on behalf of Congressman Bill Archer, asked the agency for as much information as possible on the ARC. He was told the NPIC studied the mountain in the 70s and found no evidence, but he appears to have not been informed of the ground photo that passed all tests of validity. So where might this photo have come from? And is it the same declassified Air Force image from 1949? We can't know for sure. The only information on Air Force sightings in the CIA file details several first-hand accounts from pilots who claim to have seen something. One pilot says he saw a, quote, big rectangular, huge boxcar-like man-made structure in the late 1950s. Another, in 1974, says he saw a, quote, dark foreign object that was oblong and partially buried in the glacial ice. A third pilot says he saw a, quote, wooden barge. Given what has been declassified, it appears at least possible something is on the mountain or was at one time. Of course, it's also very possible the images were of rock formations and the pilots saw what they wanted to see. Initial classification of the photos may appear suspicious, but consider this. The mountain sat on the former Turkish-Soviet border. This could have warranted secrecy due to military interest. There's also an obvious question we haven't asked. If there was evidence of an arc in the images, would it have been released? One intelligence summary from the agency's Near East Africa branch in 1949 points us to an answer. It also suggests why the CIA may have been so interested in the issue. Competition with the Soviet Union. This partially redacted briefing shows a curious account that a Soviet scientist had been searching for the Ark for six years and found evidence Stone Age men had lived in the area. The briefing also asks if the Soviets were about to claim another first for the communist regime. Though the Cold War had just started a couple years earlier, competition among both sides for scientific innovation had already begun. The 1940s already saw the USSR invent the first mass-produced helicopter, the AK-47, and several advancements in rocketry. 
Per that briefing, they may have also been looking for archaeological victories. So we'll ask again. Would evidence of an Ark have come out if it were found by either government? It's a tough question, and we're not here to speculate. But given the competitive nature of the Cold War, one could argue that such a find would have been released as an achievement if it could be confirmed. Let us know in the comments what you think. There's also a bit more to digest here. A 2010 expedition to the mountain claims to have found an ark dated to be 4,800 years old. But archaeologists interviewed by NBC News at the time debated the discovery. One from Stony Brook University explains that the book of Genesis does identify Ararat as the landing spot for the ark, though he says what was found could have easily been pieces of wood. Another historian from Cornell thinks it just as well could be an ancient structure on the mountainside, not a boat. There have not been any notable advances since. This is an issue that remains unsolved, though the government's involvement in a search very much deepens the mystery. So what do you think the Air Force pilots really saw? And what about that image taken to the CIA in 1975? Let us know what you think in the comments. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos. All documents are linked below.